Alex, welcome to Kilmarnock for your first impressions. I enjoyed it. It was nice to train with the lads, get out there and uh, have a good training session, blow the cobwebs off and uh, yeah, it was a good session. I enjoyed it. How did this move materialise for you? Uh, I got a call last week and uh, as soon as I got the call, it was an interest to me. Obviously, everyone knows that Kilmarnock are having a great season and I thought if we could get up here and uh, finalise everything with uh, with Wigan and... and uh, and finish everything there, and, and come up and, and 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 jump on the bandwagon as it's as it is, and hopefully uh, finish the season and be successful uh, with the lads. As you say, it's it's been a story that's kind of captured imagination. What what is it that's impressed you most from from the outside about the story? The biggest thing, and the, the biggest um, clue I had when I when I came to watch the game against Rangers was the work ethic of the lads, uh, the way they work for one another, uh, the way they dug in for one another, and. Um, as soon as I left the game, I was thinking I, I wouldn't mind joining that group. They look like an honest bunch, and uh, I'm looking forward to playing with them all. What has the manager said to you about how he sees you fit into the squad here? He just says you you have to come in and add add to the squad. The squad's doing very well, as everybody knows. So if I can come in and, and do my bit and and, uh, and grab my opportunity when I get it, then uh, that's the plan. Was Steve someone that you'd come across before in your, your time in England? I've met him a couple of times. Uh, I've never worked with him, but I know a lot of people who have, and uh, everyone gives him a glowing reference. Everyone says how good a coach he is, so getting to the age that I'm at now, if I can pick a few things up off him on the on the coaching field as well, that'll be, a, that'll be an added bonus. How exciting is this challenge in Scottish football, a change of scenery for you having spent your career down in England? Well, it was something that I was uh, keen to do. Uh, I believe being a footballer is a short career, and... Um, I think every opportunity that you get, you've got to grab it with both hands. And I had a couple of opportunities south as well, um, but I fancied a, a fresh challenge. Uh, it's it's going to be a, a good challenge and one I'm looking forward to. Do you know any players here in Scotland at all? Is, is there anyone you kind of spoke to outside of, or say our manager or anyone else? Up yeah, I've spoke to a few lads. Um, I spoke to Gareth McCauley, who was a teammate of mine at, uh, at Ipswich, and Alan McGregor, who was a teammate of mine at Hull. Uh, I've played against quite a lot of. Um, players who were up here in, in the Premier League and in the Championship back in England. So, um, yeah, I know, I know quite a few lads and I know it's not easy. Uh, everyone says it's a, it's a tough league, a physical league, so I've, uh, I've got no uh, illusions that it's going to be a, a walk in the park, that's for sure. So I'm looking forward to the challenge and, and I'm looking forward to Friday night. You mentioned watching that game against uh, Rangers. Was that the atmosphere at Rugby Park something that, that also was quite an appealing part for you? Yeah, it was a great atmosphere. It was, it was, uh, it was clear to see that... Uh, the support has got behind the lads, and obviously to get a, to get the winner in the in the second half like the lads did, and and, and beat Rangers was a was a special evening. And I said when I when I watched the game, I seen Steve after the game. I, I must have been a lucky charm. So hopefully that can continue.